In this video, we're going to deploy a Next.js app to Netlify in one click. Yesterday, Netlify announced this new build plugin. In this article by Cassidy Williams, she goes over exactly how to deploy a Next.js app with one click. So before this build plugin, you could use the Next on Netlify project on GitHub to enable server-side rendering in Next.js on Netlify. But that took three steps. That was too much. Netlify said, no, we just want one click. So with this new build plugin, you can have server-side rendering, incremental static regeneration capability, preview mode, and more. But super simple. You just go to plugins on Netlify, then you select the next on Netlify build plugin and install. Then you would just select which site you want it to install to. And we can test this out by using the starter project for Next.js, which is right here again by Cassidy Williams. And if we scroll down, we can just click deploy to Netlify. We'll just need to connect to GitHub, select our repository name, and it's deploying our site. In less than a minute, this will be up and running. We can go to our very unique URL, and there it is, it's up and running. So let's take a closer look at this. I'm gonna go back to Netlify and click on GitHub. We're gonna open up our GitHub repo here. So we can see that this is my repository. And let's grab the link here. We'll open up VS Code. All right, let's clone that repository. All right, now we'll open it up. So here we have our basic Next app. All right, so we can open up our terminal. We need to npm i to get all the node modules installed. Right, now we can do npm run dev. And it's starting our dev environment on localhost 3000. We can open that up. And we can see the same thing here running on localhost 3000 and on our Netlify app. So let's change something really quick. Go back to VS Code. Let's just go into our pages. And let's click on index and we have our next app here. Let's just type something here. I'm a Next.js app running on Netlify. All right, we're going to save that. Then if we go back to our browser, we can see that update changed on our local host. So let's go back to VS Code. And we need to commit our changes. So we'll say updated text. And then we're going to sync our changes. All right, and now if we go back to our browser, we can go over to Netlify and we can see, go to deployments. We can see that it's building. We made our changes to GitHub. Netlify saw those changes and it's automatically rebuilding our site for us. If we give it about a minute, it should rebuild and we should see the updates on our Netlify URL. Okay, so now it's been published. Let's go back to our Netlify URL. Let's refresh this. And there we go, we have our updated changes. So pretty cool. Running Next.js on Netlify is super simple. I hope this helps you get going with Next.js. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.